In this video, I'm going to talk about joins um, and joins using query. So, first of all, let's start off with what is a join? A join is used when you have um, two or more files that you want to pull data into your query with. A join is the method in which you add those that one or more files into the query. So for example, using the file um, that we've been working with, uh, the sales file, go ahead and show you that. Okay, we have this file here. And say that we want to be able to bring additional data into the query. Um, so in this case, uh, we have a sales rep number, okay? and maybe we want to know who the sales rep is. If that information is stored in another file, you can use what's called a join to join that file in there uh, and to bring that data in and make it in as a part of the query or as a part of the report uh, and kind of bring it all together and make it look like it's all part of the same thing when in fact the data could be from several different files. So you use a join to do that. So, back out of here, and the file that I have is uh, the sales rep file that I want to join it to, and I'll just show you that. Okay, and now here is our sales rep file. And as you can see here, we have the sales rep field, the name, and then some additional information uh, in that other file. So, to do a join, we'll go ahead and go work query, and we'll create a new query and you take your uh, specify file selections that's where you specify your joins now the first um, file selection is just like we normally would do so in this case we're gonna add in our sales file now what the difference is is you press F9 to add additional files from this screen so I'll go ahead and press F9 now there's a distinction here um, that will be more relevant in just a moment that the first file that you enter up here is what's known as the primary file so um, keep that in mind um, and I'll show you in just a second why that's important so we we'll go ahead and enter in the second file name that we're going to join to the query and in this case that's the sales rep file press enter and it populates um, the format and all that. You don't have to worry about that. The other thing to notice here is it automatically assigns this file ID of T01 and you'll see why that's important in just a moment. What that does is it prefixes um, that file ID to the field names when you go to work with them and that is true of every other screen and query uh, once you add two or more files in um, that will all the fields get prefixed so if you go into in this case we're going to join um, two files together but if I was to do a record selection it would use that file ID prefix on the field names from those files so go ahead and press enter and it brings us up to this screen and there's a couple of options here when it comes to record matching this third option unmatched records with primary file I'm not going to cover uh, and all the time I've worked with query, I've never had to use option three. I've used either option one, match records, or option two for match records with primary file. Now remember a moment ago I said uh, the first file that you enter is the primary file. And that's where this comes into play. There's two major differences between option one and option two. And um, I will show you what those are. Match records matches make sure that there's records in both files and it will only return records that have a match in both files. The match records with primary file what that does is it says okay give me all the everything in the primary file but if you don't have a match in the secondary file um, leave those fields blank and that may sound obscure right now but uh, bear with me just a moment and I'll show you exactly what I mean so first we're gonna take the matched records option press enter and it brings us up to the the specify how to join files screen 
here is where you tell query how those files are related. Now if you remember in the uh, in the sales rep file we had a sales rep or in the excuse me the sales field we had a sales rep number uh, field and that's this guy right here. And then in the second file, if I come down here and I'll page down, we had the same sales rep number okay, field in the secondary file. And again, you can see here we have uh, the T02. That's just the, the ID, which tells us, well, okay, that is a separate file than the ones that are in T01. So since we have matching data in both files, you join them together. That tells query, okay, you're saying, okay, take the sales rep field. In this case, we'll do t01.salesrep, okay, and match it to the same field. In this case, I know they are the same in the second file. You have to have some sort of condition to be able to match your fields together. That tells query, here is how the two are going to come together as one. In this case, we use EQ for equals. And um, there are other options up here. I'm not going to discuss those options right now because in my experience, 90 plus percent of the time, you'll always use EQ for your, um, t for your joins. And in this case, We'll do t02.salesrep. So here we're telling query that we're going to match by this particular field. And in this case, I know that these two fields are equal. Um, so it will join them up just right. Now I'm going to F5 and preview the report to show you the difference between the, um, the join types. So F5. And now here's our query. You notice when I ran the query earlier, it had a lot more record in it, a lot more data in it than what you see on the screen, and that's because of my match type. See, we have here sales rep 10. Okay, these are the these are the fields from the first data file, and then the second data file starts out over here. So we have our sales rep, and that's how we match the two um, files together is by the by the sales rep uh, field. So here we have 10, 10, okay, and then when we go to 20, it matches it up on 20. Now, here's the difference between the match types. I'm going to go ahead and F12 to bring me back, and I'm going to F12 one more time. And I'll specify option 2 for the match records with primary file. We'll go ahead and you specify the same fields, okay? And I'll F5 to preview that. And now, we can see what we've done is we've told query with that second match uh, match records with primary file is it's going to give me everything okay in this in the primary file which was the sales file in this case and match it up with anything here out of the sales rep file um, and out of the secondary file but if there's anything missing, it's okay. Go ahead and still show those records, but it will leave them all. Scroll, I'm scroll to the right here. F20. It will leave those fields blank. That is the difference between those two match types. And I like to use, um, generally speaking, I like to use the match records. I have 12 here. I like to use the match records with primary file, because it ensures that you don't somehow accidentally get records dropped off. Um, sometimes uh, if, if data files aren't complete for whatever reason or there's not a good set of data, maybe in this case I'm, I'm working with a sales file and as you can see I, I set it up so there were some missing sales reps in the secondary file that are in the sales file itself. That can happen in the real life and in this case it just ensures that you still get a complete set of data out of your primary file, uh, and and if there is the chance that there's something missing out of the um, out of the secondary files, and um, that it'll still show you the data that you want, it'll just leave those uh, mi missing records blank. So again, come in here, and I'll just reset up this join because when I F12, it takes you back and clears it out. 
and that's it and I press enter one more time and it brings me right back to the uh, first screen and that is how you can do a simple uh, query of one file um, if you want to do multiple files the process is the same for the type of join that we did we would just come back in here and if I do F9 it'll bring me up another spot where I could enter in another file name I don't have another file to, to uh, do right now, but the process is the same. So in this case, what you would do is you put in the file name and then specify the joins uh, to your um, file, usually back to the primary file, which um, causes less problems when you do that.